In this video, we'll balance the equation Al2SO4 3 plus NaHCO3. It's a bit of a challenging equation. There's a lot going on here. We're going to use a bit of a trick to help us do that. I'll show you in a minute. Let's count the atoms up on each side carefully and then balance the equation. Two aluminum atoms. And here's the trick. This sulfate here, SO4, it's a polyatomic ion. It stays together. I have it here and then the sulfate that's over here. So when we balance, we can count that as one item. It makes it a lot easier. So I have one sulfate times three. I'm going to say I have three sulfate ions. For the NaHCO3, one sodium, one hydrogen, one carbon. And then I count these oxygens here because they're not part of the sulfate. I have three oxygen atoms. Okay, product side, one aluminum, just one sulfate ion, two sodiums, three times one, so three hydrogen atoms. For the carbons, I have just one. And for the oxygens, be careful. We don't count these with the sulfate because we're considering that just one item. We have three times one. That's three oxygen atoms plus two oxygen atoms here. We have a total of five. It's a little bit difficult to know where to start with something like this. My recommendation, do the oxygens last and then leave the hydrogens towards the end as well. So why don't we just start off by balancing the aluminum atoms? We could put a two here, one times two, so the aluminum atoms are balanced. Now we've got to figure all this out. So we need to update both the oxygen and the hydrogen. So let's do the oxygen first. Get rid of this. We have three times the one, three oxygens times the two. So we have six oxygens plus we have the two here. So now we have eight. For the hydrogens, we have three times one. That's three times the two. That'll give us six. All right. Let's do the sulfate ions next. I have three of them here and just one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the Na2SO4. When I do that, I have two times three. I have six sodium atoms. And then I have the one sulfate times three. That'll give me three of those. Let's just keep going down and do the sodium. So we're going to have to put a six in front of the NaHCO3. One times six, that'll give us six. And then for our hydrogens, one times six, that gives us six. Those are balanced too. For the carbon, one times six, six carbons. And then for the oxygens, three times six is 18. But we're getting close. Let's go over here and fix the carbons now. Remember, we're leaving the oxygen to last. So for the carbon, I could put a six here, one times six. That balances the carbon atoms. And what I'm really hoping is when I add the oxygens again up, they'll equal 18. Let's see if that happens. Again, I'm not counting these. I've already counted them here. I have three times one, three times two. That's the six plus two times six. That's 12. 6 plus 12 is 18, and we're done. This equation is balanced. Two key pieces to remember here. One is, by considering this sulfate as just one item, that made my oxygens just a lot easier to balance. If I had to take account all these oxygens here in the sulfates, it gets a little bit more difficult. You can do it either way, and you'll get the same answer. It's just a little faster. The other thing is, leave the oxygens till last. That's usually the best approach when balancing equations. This is Dr. B with the rather long and drawn out explanation of how to balance Al2SO43 plus NaHCO3. Thanks for watching.